so his you game know, I, he I said his game crashed and now he resets his game and look what happens when he resets his game he temporarily banned bro so did crim or banned wait crim also got banned <laughs> okay real quick take a look at this chat take a look at this Team Ricochet progress report outlines a few updates coming soon to protect Call of Duty Black Ops 6 at launch, including updates arriving for Ricochet Anti-Cheats kernel level driver. Valuable data the team received during Black Ops 6 beta, new machine learning behavioral systems focused on speed of detection, new machine learning detection models, blah, 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 blah. a new internal metric to help us better track detection ability in progress, and finally new uh, mitigations implemented in Call of Duty Warzone. Here's the thing, folks. I feel like this all sounds great um, going, but like they can talk about Ricochet all they want. I'm, I'm really just looking forward to seeing the game not be infested with cheaters. Like I've been saying this a lot lately, and, and I mean, people have been talking about this forever, but like, Chad, how many games, how many other games do you guys play other than Call of Duty? Okay. And out of all of those games that you play, whenever you die or lose in those games whatever the equivalent is of losing in that game or or dying to somebody in that game what is the overall aura of like when that happens like for you do you feel like oh my god that guy's a cheater oh my god cheater i'm getting cheated or do you kind of just be like oh that guy was just better than me because there are so many other games that i play personally that when i die or i lose or i whatever you know i just top it up to making a bad play and putting it on myself. Whereas you almost cannot blame <laughs> like most of the community for getting to this point where in Call of Duty, I told you guys to do this social experiment for yourselves. Go into a game, get a couple kills, and I swear to you, even you as a... You might be a nine to five working. You come home, you play one hour of Call of Duty every evening and you barely touch the game or maybe only a couple times a week. You're not even that great. Guess what? Even you are going to get called a cheater from time to time. I swear to you. I swear to you, bro. That is how badly infested cheaters have been in this game. So when they're talking about Ricochet, Ricochet's done shit all basically like it's been it's been a it's been a bit of a cluster of a of a situation. I truly hope that they take it to that kernel level, whatever that means. I think that just means that it's a little bit more, whatever the word invasive means to you, to your PC. I don't know what info that means they get from you, but there are other games that most people play and they're already at that level of an anti-cheat and they're completely fine with doing that and giving up that information. It's At that point, it's totally up to you. My perspective on this whole thing, a lot of people were like, when I gave this take, I gave this take, I, I saw comments on a video I made the other day and they were like, yeah, Z, I don't want to give all my information, all this kind of shit. And then I just thought to myself, like, okay, okay, that's completely fine and, and, and reasonable. I, I hear you. But like, what information are you given first and foremost? And, 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 and like, secondly, bro, to combat, you don't also have to play the game on PC. You, you I mean, you could, you could just, you could just like, you know, play on console. Uh, but I feel like if you play on PC, because there is that level of, there's that ability and that infestation of cheating, it should almost be something that you have to do to allow you to play the game, like games like Valorant make you do. You know what I mean? Like they they kind of say, hey, we need a little more access to your information on your computer so that we can detect, have a better chance of actually detecting your cheats. That's, that's I'm, if I'm not mistaken, I, listen, I'm not a pc tech i'm not a, i'm not a, i'm not in this world of whatever you do not want to see tech laner trying to solve anything uh to do with that stuff but to my shit like like unprofessional understanding <laughs> that is how i understand ricochet works because it doesn't work that well because it doesn't have the it doesn't have enough access to people's computers to really catch you cheating is that is that the general gist of it anybody in the chat do you guys know if that's the case because i think that's what it is and the only reason I have that I have that opinion, and I think that is because when I've talked to people, even devs out at at, at, uh, at like for instance this recent in Black Ops Six reveal at COD Next, they even mentioned that to me. They were like, "Yeah, we're, we're we we don't know if we want to be as invasive on people's computers." And then I just thought to myself, "Well, I mean, other games do it, and people are completely fine with it because then they don't have to deal with cheaters all the time." And again, like I said, I feel like it's almost a trade off to playing on PC. Like so many console players are always so infuriated and pissed off and saying like, hey, 
This will never be solved until PC get their own lobbies and Xbox get their own lobbies and PS4 are all like consoles stay together and then PC stays on its own servers and stuff like that. And then I think to myself, okay, sure. I get why they say that. And it's because most of, the, I would say 99% of the ch actual cheating that takes place is on is on PC because it's just easier to cheat on PC. Uh, but what if, what if, if you're on PC and you decide to play on PC, uh, you, and because it's easier to cheat, you, you should just have to, I don't know, be okay with those level of anti-cheats having, having access to your, having access to your, I guess your computer. I don't know exactly what the ins and outs of that means. Uh, like people start to get scared and get all whatever, like with their, like, are they gonna have payment details? And all that? Cause I mean, bro, how many companies have your payment details already, buddy? I mean, come on! You know what I'm saying? That's not really justification for it. But I mean, at the end of the day, I think some people are already, if you guys get what I'm trying to get at, I don't know. I think some people are already giving out their information in a million different ways. What does it matter if you're going to give them a, just a little more access? So then we have to deal with no cheaters on PC. I feel like it's a good trade-off for PC players. Call, console players don't have to deal with this. It's completely fine. You're not, you're not going to have to give up extra access or anything, whatever that means, right? I, I feel like that's what the actual ricochet should do hashtag team ricochets kernel level driver for pc that runs as you play the game server side so the, so let, let, let me just read a little bit of this when we protect call of duty games we often achieve the goal but no there is so much more to work uh work to do so what is cheating in call of duty simply put it is anything that gives you a gives a player an unfair advantage in a game using ne uh, nefarious software like wall hacks or perfect aim not to be confused with any abuse of in-game glitches that's completely different Cheating also includes account sharing to unlock gear, using software to access to items you haven't earned or purchased, and account boosting. All these actions are against our security and enforcement policy. And you might be wondering, how do people cheat in online games? Put simply, cheaters use software to ma manipulate the game to reveal information that shouldn't be known or to take automated actions with superhuman speed or accuracy. We all know cars shouldn't fly in this slice of the multiverse, but sometimes our in-game worlds disagree. Uh, the people behind cheats are organized, illegal groups that pick apart every piece of data within our games to look for some way to make cheating possible. These bad guys are not just some script kiddies poking around with code they found online. They're a collective who profit from the exploiting of the hard work of game developers across the industry. But cheat developers are flawed. Clearly, they have to pretend to be good at video games. Every time... Ooh, a little shade. Huh? Every time they cheat... They, ha uh, they leave breadcrumbs behind. There are several ways to find those breadcrumbs. For example, Team Ricochet's kernel level driver for PC that runs as you play the game. Okay, but... Okay. But how often does this thing work, right? And that's my whole... That's my whole issue with the whole thing. Like, why don't we just... Like, you guys already tried. You tried with Ricochet. Like, it's it's commendable that you you, you you tried to build something from the ground up. But let's not reinvent the wheel. There's already there's already anti-cheats chat that are for, that are used for multiple other games that are that are very successful anti-cheats. In comparison to Ricochet, they're very successful. At the end of the day, all games will always have some level of cheating. There will never not be fucking at least a, a, a bit of cheating. There's it's, it's, it's always someone's going to find a way to do it. But are there games that are that have less cheaters than others? Well, a hundred percent. There's a vast amount of uh, games that are, you know, Valorant, League of Legends, Fortnite. These games all have less cheaters by a landslide. They have cheaters, but less of them. Team Ricochet's, I feel like let's not reinvent the wheel. Let's just, why don't we just use an anti-cheat that already works? Uh, server side and client side detections, machine learning models that look for anomalies and examine uh, matches, anti-cheat replay, investigation tool, third-party hardware detections, and more. Okay, so this is what you already use. And we already know what that outcome looks like. So let's see what we're going to be doing for Black Ops 6. Woo! The number one thing both we and you care about is not losing another match to a cheater. A lot has been put into Black Ops 6 to upgrade security. Oh, really? Like what? But here's the goal we're targeting. We want to catch and remove cheaters within one hour of them being in their first match. Okay. All right. What are you going to do to do that? This metric is called time to action, and we will be monitoring. We will be monitoring, monitoring our progress internally and building technology to drive this number down. During the Black Ops 6 beta, our team was live testing a lot of its new tech to try and achieve this goal. Weekend one was a stumble. In the past, we've used data from console players during beta weekend one to train and test our systems. Wet, sorry, uh, I'm reading this wrong. Players during beta weekend uh, one 
train and test our systems. Put simply, even though we love our friends who game on PC, it's nice to have a weekend to stress test systems without the risk of cheaters. Since we, asked, since we had to protect the game without those stress tests, our new technology was so eager to catch cheaters that it came in a little hot. When we recognized those errors, we immediately made adjustments to correct course in the service of our new time to action milestone. Shotzi got banned. Or here, maybe I can even just find it and pull it up right now. Shotzi got banned, bro. Okay, so Shotzi, Shotzi chat. This is a professional CDL player who plays at land and who won the biggest championship of the year for Call of Duty standards, multiplayer Call of Duty this year. He is undoubtedly one of, will go down as one of the best players of all time. Even he was banned during the beta. <laughs> That's what they're talking about when they say, uh, when they say it came, the anti-cheat came in a little too hot. Um, I'm assuming it ended up like, look, he dropped a nuke in one of his games. He dropped a nuke, went in 31 and 0 or some shit. He didn't die once. And then look, when he gets out of the game. Look at this. Who? Yeah, literally. I think, I think, uh... Yeah, we, we crash. I'll get the... Bro, and is your shit, like, fully frozen? So his game, he said his game crashed, and now he resets his game, and look what happens when he resets his game. He temporarily banned, bro. What? So did Krim? Banned or banned. Wait, Krim also got banned. Oh my god, bro. That's hilarious. So anyway, anyway, anyway. Just a quick segue. Just a quick segue to that because that was pretty funny. Uh, where were we? We were adjustments to the service, correct course, new time to action milestone. Yeah, when we recognized those errors, we immediately made adjustments to correct the course. Okay, so cheaters were able to complete around 10 multiplayer matches during weekend one before being removed. After tweaking our systems and developing new detection message for, methods for weekend two, we cut that time in half to five matches. Excuse me. That timing achieved our time to action goal. In fact, 25% of all weekend two bans happened during the first match uh, cheater ever played. Okay. But removing someone after they cheat isn't perfect, so we are ramping up detections to try to stop even more cheaters before they load into the game. During the beta, we stopped over 12,000 confirmed cheaters accounts before they ever saw it inside of a match. Black Ops 6 on day one is going to launch with a variety of updated anti-cheat tech, to name a few. Here we go. This is the meat and potatoes. This is what I wanted to get to. I'm not going to read what's ahead. I just wanted to get to this because this is what they're going to be doing for Black Ops 6. Black Ops 6 on day one. Uh, okay, so I just read that. To name a few, an updated version of the kernel level driver. Note, all features in October 25th update will protect any title that uses the driver, including Call of Duty Warzone. So this will also take an effect on Warzone. So here's the thing. They're saying it's going to be an updated version. Um, listen, I I mean, I don't want to judge, but obviously based on our past and in the history, you almost have to think it's not going to work. But you know what? Let's just see what happens on October 25th. If we see an actual change in the amount of hackers in the game and the cheaters, and you could truly feel that you're not getting hacked on all the time. And we'll see. Uh, I'll, I'll leave the judgment till then. All mitigations, including damage shield, disarm, splat, hallucination, and others will be live. New machine learning behavioral systems focused on speed of detection. New machine learning detection models to analyze gameplay to combat aimbots. Upgrades when ranked play launches, which include continuous examinations to determine if leaderboard placements are accurate. More on ranked play updates in a future blog, okay? For Call of Duty Warzone specifically, we've de de developed new mitigations to interrupt cheaters. Stay tuned for a future report and learn new tricks. There's something they didn't touch on in here, which I think is super, super important. Maybe they touched on it in the head in here, but I'm not going to read this whole thing. I mean, this is a big-ass blog. You read it if you like chat. We'll link it down below in the video. They're not touching on shadow banning, bro. And shadow banning is a massive issue in Call of Duty. If you guys don't know what shadow banning is, it's basically a, a stage before getting permanently banned, right? So think of it as kind of what, what happens is if uh, if your account is kind of suspected of cheating, like if you're like, maybe you have a really high KD or a really good player, you whatever, you, you drop a 40 kill game. Sometimes your account will get shadow banned, put into this limbo state where you can't even play the game until your account's reviewed. And then I think you can get on shadow banned. I, I don't know how the whole complete process works, right? But I, it's something along those lines. It's like a limbo state before a permanent ban. The issue with this feature is that it's clearly a an algorithm and it's not like this isn't like they don't have a team hired to go in and just specifically nitpick people out because this happens all the time and it happens way too frequently obviously hence the last tournament that just happened thirty thousand dollars half the competitors got banned these are legit players who have gone to land proven themselves these are all great players they're not actual cheaters and they all at the same time literally most or, or most of them 
not not every single one of them, but most of them, all at the same time, had their accounts put into the shadow ban state, <laughs> which is crazy. It's just crazy. So they need to figure that shit out. I don't know what is going on there, but they need to figure that shit out. Anyway, folks, that is basically it. 